Uh, let's head back to the scene at I-35 in Parma where Kate Whitehall is. We're expecting to hear from Chief Art Acevedo in the next few minutes here. Here he comes walking up. Let's listen in, Kate. There he is right there. Yes, we should be hearing from the chief. We also have the city manager, Mark Ott, assistant city manager, and uh, several of the assistant police chiefs. Let's listen in to what Chief Art Acevedo has to say about the shooting from this morning with the Austin police officer. Good morning, Chief. Well, good morning. Uh, it's with a heavy heart that I have to report that we've lost a police officer this morning. Uh, and I'm going to go provide you with an uh, overview of what occurred and a timeline. And then we'll open up any questions. And then we uh, might have uh, our boss, City Manager Mark Ott, say a couple of comments. This morning at about uh, 0220 hours, the Austin Police Department received a call of a person, a male that was intoxicated, wandering around the Walmart store located up here in, uh, off of I-35 in Parma Lane. At 2.21 a.m., uh, officers were dispatched. At 2.29 a.m., the uh, first officer arrived on scene. Uh, when the officer went inside of the store, he made contact with the male suspect who immediately engaged the officer in a fight. During the fight, the suspect produced a semi-automatic pistol, shot the officer at point blank, striking him somewhere around the neck area. The officer was able to broadcast uh, that he had been shot, he was able to actually put out a, a broadcast. Upon the arrival of a, another officer, he was able to take the suspect into custody and uh, begin administering CPR. Despite the valiant efforts of our officers that started CPR and uh, EMS, uh, Director Rodriguez is here, the officer succumbed to his injury and was pronounced at the scene at 2.44 a.m. We have notified the officer's family. The officer has been with the Austin Police Department for a little over three years. Prior to being employed as a member of the Austin Police Department, he worked for the airport police as part of the public safety and emergency management department that consolidated with us uh, back in 2009. And prior to that, he worked for the San Angelo Police Department. The officer leaves behind his parents, uh, two young daughters, ages 10 and 6, uh, his, and their mother, who live here locally. The city manager and I have made notification to the uh, mother and the children. Uh, as can be expected, they are extremely distraught. Uh, we will not release his name at this time because he has other extended family, including parents, that uh, we have not confirmed if notification has been made by the local police department. I personally want to uh, thank some of the employees at Walmart that we will identify when the time is appropriate. But even in this tragedy, I'm heartened by the fact that two brave souls immediately started taking action when they saw our officer shot unprovoked by this suspect and actually tackled the suspect to the ground before he was able to hurt somebody else. Uh, I'm also very thankful to uh, EMS and to our responding officers for their efforts at trying to save our officer. It's a tragedy on Good Friday uh, to lose an officer like this, but uh, it's part of what these men and women do. They know when they become police officers that this is ultimately the, the sacrifice they're willing to make. And I want to really thank especially our, our boss, Mark Ott, for, who's always at these incidents, and Mike McDonald, the, uh, the, the, city, the deputy city manager, uh, Dr. Hintze uh, for EMS, uh, director who's always here, and obviously Sheriff Hamilton who's back here and we're to make her. We've come together as a family. It'll be tough for the next few days. Uh, but as I told and we told, uh, our officers' family, they are not alone. The city of the Austin Police Department, our first response community, and most importantly, our city and our community will stand with this family and we'll make sure that those two little girls that just lost their father tonight, through no fault of his own, uh, that they are raised 
uh, the way they need to be raised and if their needs are met. Lastly, I will say if the suspect is in custody and uh, he's being uh, transported out of the scene. With that, I want to let uh, City Manager Marcotte say a couple of comments, uh, and then we will open it up to any questions. Well, I think Chief Acevedo has uh, covered the circumstances uh, surrounding the loss of our officer. Uh, it's, uh, it's a sad day. I mean, what can I tell you? We've lost a, a member of our family. Um, I think our sentiments are, are correct. At uh, times like this, it's important to close the ranks and, um, and look out for each other. And that's, uh, that's what we're doing, both in terms of the police department and certainly surrounding that family uh, and those kids and making sure that uh, uh, they have everything they need to get through uh, the most unfortunate uh, set, of, set of circumstances. I, too, want to extend my compliments uh, uh, to our police department, uh, in particular the officers that uh, were involved uh, in this matter, uh, EMS as well. Uh, I can tell you that we've uh, made phone calls and either uh, left messages or spoke directly uh, with the members of council, so uh, they are aware of those that we were able to talk to directly, and I suspect those that by now have heard the voicemail messages uh, that we left, and of course we will as things go on, keep them updated as to the status of, of this set of circumstances. A tough day for us all, loss of family member. But uh, uh, as with uh, other situations, uh, we, will, we will get through this as well.